Okay, students, this question is from DC machine. Okay, it says a separately excited DC generator supplies 150 ampere to a 145 volt DC grid. Okay, the generator is running at 800 RPM. The armature resistance of the generator is 0.1 ohm. If the speed of the generator is increased to 1000 RPM, the current in ampere supplied by the generator to the DC grid is. Okay? So, in this particular question, it is said that there is a DC grid there. So, one thing that we have to remember is, since it's mentioned as DC grid, so the voltage of the DC grid will always remain constant, since it's a grid. Okay? So, the voltage, let us say the grid voltage Vt is 145 volt and this is constant. That means even if there is a change in the speed of the generator, the output voltage will not change. This is very important. Okay? Now the, the second thing, we need to see that what are the, uh, what are the uh, what are the values that are given? So there are two conditions. First condition is when NR, let us say it is the first condition, when the NR1 is 800 RPM, okay? Then, then the line current, okay? The line current here, since it's a separately excited, separately excited DC generator, the line current or the armature current is the same thing. So the armature current here is 150 amps. Okay? Also, the resistance is given, armature resistance is given to be 0 0.1 ohm. Okay? Now, this is the first condition. So in this case, we can calculate what is the EM. EMF will be VT plus IA1 into R. VT we know is 145 plus IA is 150 into 0 0.1. So it will be 145 plus 15 only 160 volts. Okay? Now, second case is given as, now the RPM or the rotor speed has increased to 1000 RPM. Now what? Now we need to find out what is my current. Okay? Now we know EMF is proportional to EA is proportional to flux into rotor speed. Here it's a separately excited machine. So flux we can say constant. So it is directly proportional to the speed. So we can say that from this condition we can write out EA2 by EA1 is equal to NR2 by NR1. So from here we can easily find out what is EA2. EA2 will be 1000 by 800 into 160. So this comes out to be 200 volts. Now we know EA2, we know what is the grid voltage VT. So from here we can calculate what is IA2. IA2 is 2 minus VT by R. Then EA2 is 200 minus 145 by 0 0.1. So this comes out to be 550 
ampere. So this is the answer. Okay.